Hi everyone, thank you for joining me here once again at Florets by Elsa. I am so excited, I am trying something new. Um, so, first I want to start by thanking you guys who are following me. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like what you see, please click that subscription button. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell. That way you're notified anytime I have new content out. I'm going to show you the piece from my last video that dried and I'm excited. It's so gorgeous. So let me show you. So here it is. And she is dried and look how gorgeous it turned out. Beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors nice so here it is and she is ready for resin and as you know if you're interested please check out my website at fluidartsbyelsa.com you can also email me at elsasgallery at gmail.com if you have any questions or if I can assist in any way she's gorgeous I love it isn't she pretty there it is. So, on to the next one. So today, I did want to start working on a two-part video. However, I don't know if I'm going to have much time for that. Um, I'm going to work on a video tonight. It's going to be a chaos-style pour, but instead of it ha being midsection or like a split base, I want to do the whole canvas in kind of a a chaos style uh, pour and see how that turns out. So, you know the drill, meet me down at the canvas. Okay, so here we are and we're gonna go ahead and get started. I am working on a 20 by 20 inch canvas and I'm gonna be doing something a little different and see how this turns out. So I'm gonna just put my white paint down first. And I have divided my canvas so that I know where my line is. Being very careful not to mess up my design, or at least what's going on in my head. Right, so that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm taking my time here. Okay, that looks fairly good. Now, I am gonna put some white in here because I want my colors to flow on the color, on um, what I'm doing right now. So, just some white on this side, not a lot. And some white on this side. Again, not a lot. Okay, perfect. All right, that works for me. Now, I am going to be doing my colors up and down here, like two pillars. I'm gonna be starting with, um, yes, Azel Orange by Amsterdam. My colors are gonna be orange, reds, and yellows. Just something a little different. Okay. And just like that. Okay, I think that's enough. I can always come back in. Now I am using Imperial Red by Amsterdam. Let's 
see how this turns out. Now my red. That's the red. <laughs> this looks interesting. Very. Now I'm coming in with Pearl Copper Gold by Arteza. Okay, that's my copper. Now I'm doing Primary Yellow by Amsterdam. Some yellow. Okay. The colors look beautiful. I think that's enough. And then I am adding on the top a little bit of iridescent, iridescent yellow, uh, orange yellow by Pavel. And this I'm just gonna drizzle the red, just like this. That should be enough. Oh, looks beautiful. Now I'm adding a little bit of iridescent blue green for a pop of color. Okay, so I'm going to do this here, 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 here. Yeah. I think we're good. I think we're good here. That's enough of the colors. Gorgeous. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pop those bubbles. Okay. Move my colors out of the way. And now we're going to see how I want to do this. I don't know. I didn't even think about that. How did I want to do this?
I'm going to add on the top of this some pearl white. Just a streak of pearl white. Okay, now we are all set. Let's stop because I'll keep adding colors here. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Let's go, Elsa. Okay, here we go. And now I, I'm trying to figure out as I talk how am I going to blow this? Okay, so I think I'm going to go. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go a little bit in there. Like that. Okay, so that looks like what I was going for. Okay. Beautiful. I love it. Let me bring you down for a close-up. So here it is, guys. I did tweak it some more. As you can see, it's completely different. So I didn't like the way it was so perfectly cut in the center. I wanted it to be more organic. So I blew out more of this white to the left and to the right of the painting. I also added a little more color here just to encircle it on both ends. And now I feel happy. Remember, this is your painting. Tweak it and do it while it's wet. It's a lot easier to get things done while your paint is wet. So now it will be ready for when it dries, I can go in and embellish it. So stay tuned in my upcoming videos to see how this one turns out. I will definitely show you once it's dry. Okay, so here we are for the second step. So the canvas painting has dry. I don't wanna move it. I'll show you once it's done, but it has completely dry. And now I'm going to embellish it. And what I got here is a, as you can see, a feather template or a, a plastic reusable template so that I can embellish it. So look how beautiful it is. So I'm gonna place this where I want it on my painting. I'm gonna put it right there. center right here
Okay, perfect. So now I'm just gonna tape it down. So I don't want it to move. I'm gonna create a lip so that I can pull it off easier. Just like that. And I'm gonna do the sides as well. And this idea I'm trying from Olga Sobe. Um, so go check her out. So. I think I am good there. Yes. Okay. So now I am using regular gel gloss by Golden. And I'm working on the surface because I don't want to get the gel under the template. I just want it to be right above, not under. Check Olga Sobe out. She has beautiful paintings that she has done with this technique. They're just gorgeous. This is my first one, so let's see how it turns out. Okay. So I think that's perfect. Everything is covered nicely. After that, I'm going to be using a couple of colors that I already have on my sides on the feather. So I'm going to start with a little bit of uh, the Imperial Red by Amsterdam. And the paint is coming right out of the tube or the jar, okay? I'm going to put the darkest color at the bottom. Let me just think how I want it. I just want it dispersed a little bit. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to come in with the blue. I do want a hint of blue in there. So I'm coming in with some of the blue. So just like that. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but we'll see. Now I'm adding some of the iridescent orange yellow. more 
après. I want a hint of yellow with the primary yellow. And now I'm just going to add some hints of gold. Um, let's see. Okay, so I hope all is covered now. Let's see. I can't see much, but I hope it is. If not, I guess I'll go in and with the paintbrush and we can fix it. So let me take these off. And we'll see together how this turned out. I'm a, okay, guys, I'm going to put it from here first. Sorry, so... Wow, it looks gorgeous. I am so happy. I'm gonna set this aside and then I'll show you. That's amazing. Wow. Really? Wow. Let me just set this aside. I can clean it. Let me just cover it with some water and I'll get to this in a bit. That way it doesn't dry on me. So there, let me. Just throw some water on it. <laughs> I don't want it to dry, so I'm getting it wet. Okay. There it is. Now, guys, this is gorgeous. So now I'm just looking through it. It's perfect. Wow. Wait till I show you guys. 
Let me see. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. Okay, so here it is. Look how gorgeous it looks. And I'm going to continue. I'm, I am going to add one more thing on this painting. I'm going to show you. Uh, hopefully, I can get it in this video. If not, I will show you once I have it done. But check out this feather. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? It's beautiful. I love it. Tell me what you guys think. Look how it's turning out. This is absolutely amazing. I am super happy with the colors. The flow of the colors and then the flow of the feather makes me want to add like another one here. But I'll try that in another piece. Now I'm getting so many ideas here. Thank you so much for watching Fluid Arts by Elsa. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. So here's the finished piece. Take a look how gorgeous it turned out. I'm sorry about the glare. I love it. What do you guys think? Isn't she beautiful? Look at the shine ass. I tell you guys, it turned out amazing. I am super happy. So I embellished it with the feather, with the same colors that I had running on the sides. And I added a saying, and I think she looks amazing. Take a look at that. It's gorgeous. I love it. I hope you guys like it, and I'm going to do a couple more of these. I, I really love the style. So, thank you for watching once again. And this is the final part. Now I'm just going to go ahead and resin, and she'll be all ready. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment below. Thank you for joining me here at Fluid Arts by Elsa. And you can see the shine it has as I go on an angle. The feather has such an iridescent shine to it. It's beautiful. Thank you. Bye.